From this presentation onwards, we'll start with the new chapter called Structures and this is the introductory lecture on structures. So let's get started. Here is the problem statement. I have a garage and I want to store all the information about the cars which are available in my garage. So I have a garage and I want to store all the information about the cars which are currently available in my garage. Okay. Suppose I have this car and here are the specifications of this car. Engine is DDIS 190 engine. Fuel type is petrol. Fuel tank capacity is 37. Seating capacity is 5. City mileage is 19.74 kilometers per liter. I want to store all this information somewhere. One way is to create different variables for these different types, right? We can create a separate variable for this data, separate variable for this data, separate variable for this data and so on. Now, for this I can create a pointer to a character, right? I am assuming that this is a string literal, right? And I will store the string literal and for storing the string literal, I need a pointer to a character. Similarly, for this also, I need a pointer to a character. And for this, I need an integer variable. For this also, I need an integer variable. But for this, I need a float variable. So this is how I can store all this information. I have declared a pointer to a character which is car1 engine to store the engine information. For storing the fuel type information, I created this variable which is actually a pointer to a character. Then this variable is created to store this integer value. Car1 sitting cap has been created to store this value. And car1 city mileage is created to store this float value. Right? Now, I also have this car and these are all the specifications of this car. Engine is 1.2 liter Kappa dual VTVT. Fuel type is diesel. Fuel tank capacity is 35. Seating capacity is 5. City mileage is 22.54 kilometers per liter. And to store all this information, again, I will do the same task. This time, instead of 1, I will have 2 because these are car 2 specifications. Right? But think about it. Is it a good idea to store all this information in separate variables? Suppose we have 100 cars, then storing all that information in different variables is actually time consuming as well as memory consuming. Therefore, this is not a good idea at all, right? Array is also not a good option, let me tell you. Array has the capability to store more than one elements, but they all must be of same type. This is very important for us to understand that array has the capability to store more than one elements. That is true. We want to store more than one elements and that too within a single variable. But they all must be of same type, but our requirement is different. Our requirement is to store data of different types, right? We want to store all this information and we can see here the data are of different types. Therefore, array is not a good solution. Now, let me ask you, what happens if we can define our own type which can accommodate all the required types? Let me tell you, you got all the powers. Structure is one-stop solution. Believe me, structure is one-stop solution. A structure is a user-defined data type that can be used to group elements of different types into a single type. So we have a structure which is giving us the power to define our own type that can be used to group elements of different types into a single type. So structure is helping us to do so. We will continue this discussion in the next lecture. Up to now, we have discussed that what is our requirement and Structure is actually our one-stop solution. We will discuss more about structures in the next lecture. So, I will see you in the next one.